I'm in kind of a casual mood today. I'm wearing my casual shoes, I'm smoking a casual pipe, and I have some casual seeds I want to plant on the homestead. Some coconuts and some jackfruit, and I'm going to talk to you about why I like growing fruit trees from seed. I like this spot right here for planting some jackfruit. I have this White's Electronics Digger, which is actually made for metal detecting, but it's got these serrated edges on it, and it cuts through clay and sod really easily, and I found that it's actually quite good for transplanting and working in hard ground. Reappropriating tools. It's cool, right? Here I have some jackfruit seeds, which we harvested the other night, that I feel compelled to plant. I've soaked these in water for a little bit. Uh, they don't keep very long. You can't just store jackfruit seeds or put them aside. You have to plant them rapidly. And it's been a couple of days since we pulled them out. So it is definitely time to plant them. I'm gonna plant a handful right here, and then we'll see what happens. one more in here. Now we need to make sure that the brush doesn't come back and choke out these little seedlings. So we're gonna get some weed block. Now all we have to do is wait. Now it's time to plant these coconuts. Let's do it. This looks like a good spot right here. This is a grub hoe. One of the best hoes you can get. It tears it up. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna plant three coconuts in one hole, just because I wanna see what it looks like. I think it'd be kinda of cool. What do you think? You think it's gonna work? What do you think? You think it's gonna work? What do you think? You think it's gonna work? I don't think he likes the idea. Now I don't plant all seeds right in the ground. I think with larger seeded trees like uh, coconuts and jackfruit, it makes a lot of sense to just plant them right in the ground. They're gonna grow fast and they'll get above the weeds pretty quickly and they don't need a lot of care when they get started. They're very vigorous, fast growing trees that can take care of themselves. But some trees are a little bit touchier and those are the ones I start in pots. Let me show you some of the ones that I have going right now. Now you've seen some of these trees before. Uh, these are cashews right here. 
And over here we have some soursop. Now these trees, you could probably start right in the ground. I know you could with cashews because they're very vigorous, but I wanted to make sure that I got them to a certain size before I planted them out. I have grown coconuts and jackfruit before, but not quite as sure about the vigor of soursop and cashew, but it's obvious that cashew grows like crazy. I planted them at about the same time I planted the soursop. All right, here I have some little bulimbi trees coming up. These are the same little seeds that I found on my quest to find the bulimbi. And they are looking good. I put a little handful in each one because I wasn't sure of the germination rate. I almost always overplant seeds and then thin them out later. That's the way nature does it. She's much crueler than I am because I'm at least putting them in nice little bags where they're not gonna get eaten by weeds or carried off by animals. But there's a lot of little bulimbis right there and I'll thin that down to eight or so trees and then plant them out when they're big enough and I feel pretty comfortable with them. And of course, as I shared the other day, in my compost pile, I have all kinds of little trees started, basically on accident, mostly mangoes, some cannonball fruit, and then some cocoa over here. And back in the corner here, there's a little cocoa growing. These guys could easily be transplanted out of here. And in fact, it makes a lot of sense to take a bed you aren't using, like this one, which is kind of weedy and there's nothing going on. Put some nice fine soil in there, or even some sand, and then just start planting it out with fruit tree seeds and waiting. And you'll have all kinds of stuff popping up. I've seen this done at nurseries. I've seen it done with uh, nuts like chestnuts. Great big bed of them. And then they just dig them up and pot them up later. And you don't have to worry about individually potting each one and wondering if those seeds are gonna come up and if you're wasting space. Just make a propagation bed for your tree seeds and then plant them out. This here in the middle of my corn is a moringa tree, which I accidentally planted from seed. When I was cropping back a moringa to try and get the pods off it, one of the pods exploded from that tree back there and it shot seeds all over the garden. So I ended up with them popping up in the pads and in some of the beds. That's a real easy way to do it. I didn't even try. And I don't really even want it here. Now, if you live further north, you know in the holidays when they sell those bags of nuts and they've got hazelnuts and walnuts and almonds and all that kind of stuff in it, the almonds are not gonna grow because those are usually steam treated, unfortunately, even though they claim to be raw. But the rest of those nuts in there are often viable. I planted them in my old food forest and I had nuts come up the next spring. Pecans will do it. Black walnuts are really good for it. But if you can get raw nuts and just start burying them in the fall, they'll go into dormancy, they'll actually stratify when the cold comes. And then in the spring, you just have to remember where they are, but in the spring, if the squirrels didn't dig them up over the winter, you'll have little nut trees popping up in your yard. And the benefit of doing this is that those tap roots are so strong the seed planted trees that haven't been disturbed and haven't been potted up and haven't been cared for in a little nursery have some serious vitality. And that's what I'm hoping is gonna happen with these jackfruit that I planted today, is that they're just gonna take off and shoot right for the sky with great big tap roots, never having been disrupted by being planted in a pot and then planted again out into the field. So, go ahead, plant yourself some trees from seed, see what happens. In a few years, you're gonna be getting some fruit and it'll be a fruit variety that you grew that wasn't grafted that you can name after your own self because nobody else has it thanks to the wonders of genetic diversity. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe. Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. Like and all that cool stuff. And I will see you next time. Until then, keep growing. Yeah, see, it's this time of day, it's the sunset. You should be thinking beautiful thoughts. You shouldn't be thinking about the long night ahead. Yeah, but Femus is one of those things. People don't believe you about it. But if they ever, you know, encountered one, they really wouldn't be looking at the sunset the same, that's for sure.